Hello, my friendly acquaintance. Are you ready for a review about the Gorilla Bow? Got that in the mail this week, and there's two of these. And you push that in. This is my first time doing this. Okay. And the other end. And if you use the promo code Listen, my son, you get 10% off. They're already offering 15% off. I think until Wednesday. And then with my promo code 10% off, total of 25% off. Push that in. This thing is huge. All right. There's a lot to it. And it in and of itself, it's it's pretty hefty. This is not a flimsy thing. The pictures didn't do it justice. You actually have to have it in your hand. I kind of wish that the, uh, I like this even for chin-ups, that, that particular diameter. I wish chin-up bars were even that thick. All right, so you have a hollow aluminum tube, and then it becomes solid at the ends in what looks like a fork, and you put the bands in each end. Let's just try... Let's just try the 10 pound one, just for practicality purposes. Put that in one end, like that. You can see that, right? And then at the other end, stretch it up. All right, so what you have is a bow, literally a bow, you know, like almost like archery. And actually, I think this is one of the exercises too like this type of thing, is step on this at about shoulders width, both feet. Bring it up. Let me back up so you can see it. All right. Now this is only a 10 pound band. Doing this for demonstration purposes only. Very stable. Very stable. Interesting. Very stable. This thing here alone is pretty darn heavy, just the bar itself. Quite fascinating. Let's try triceps. Step on the band, feet at about shoulder width, bring it up. We're going to do tricep extensions. Let's see. That's pretty wild. I could see where this would be really effective. Let's just try the military presses. Wow. Much more stable than just using the bands itself, in my opinion. And you know, I've got all kinds of bands that I've been using this year and I'm super happy with them. Let's put it over the head, behind the back, a little wider grip. All right, let's try the, the next size, the next resistance level up. That's obviously, all right. Did that without incident. Let's try this behind the head at about shoulder blade level in the back. Now, 90 pounds of resistance, hands just beyond shoulder width. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's go a little wider. Back to shoulder width. I like the seams on this bar because I can measure my width 
by my thumb. Just put my thumb at each seam of the bar and where it connects, and that is just beyond shoulder width for me. Gotta remember, I'm 62 years old. So, something like this is really good for me in the sense that I can do it alone. I don't need a spotter. I don't work out with a partner. I do it all by myself. That's why machines seem to be a good thing for me right now because I don't, I can do everything alone. And just sitting here, and this is, you know, this is the large living room area. So let's just uh, try this here. Let me do 10 reps and I'll do them slow. Go all the way back to my chest, touching my chest. One, slow. I'm feeling resistance all the way up and all the way back. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Wow. I'll tell you why I like it. Uh, the, if you remember me taking the giant rubber band kind of thing that I have, which I like, I like very much. And that's great for traveling. And they do have one one of these that is made for traveling. This is not this is not gonna obviously if you take it apart, you could fit it in a suitcase. But it's it is pretty heavy. That's the good news. It's not flimsy at all. This thing is solid. It's built like a tank. Let's get real. Let me just try a couple other things here. So if I'm working on the rear deltoids and upper back, let's see. Wow. Oh yeah, about shoulder width apart. And then now let's just do some squats with it. Front loaded squats. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yes. The answer is yes, it works. Yeah. All right, so you can change these bands pretty easily. This kind of rake thing just reminds me of a hand. Solid, solid. What other exercises can you do with it? I'm trying the different bands. This is called the Gorilla Bow. Now this is part of a connected fitness program. You can do it with or without. They have on-demand and on-demand and live exercise classes. Yeah. I am not much of a heavyweight guy anymore. I don't throw stuff around just because of joints, my joints and vertebrae and such. Too many injuries over the years being a, a knucklehead, muscle head when I was younger. Uh, let's just throw some more plates on the bar and see what I can do. And you can't walk for a week after. Those days are long over with. What other exercises? So I did kind of bench, military presses, tricep extensions, curls, upright rows, squats. I think it takes the, the resistance band workout just one step further as far as stability. I mean, I was taking the... Hold on a second. I'll show you what I was doing. Hold on. You, you saw the, the regular bands that I have. Hold on. All right. So the, the first bunch of bands that I got, remember there was four or five. I really love these and I will always be using them. And if they break, I will purchase uh, extras. And then I've got this massive one. Now, let's just compare the, the chest press. Twist it a couple times, put it behind your back. All right, let's see. 
already I feel a little bit of discomfort and awkwardness in my wrist. And I think the bar does add stability, but let's just double try this again. So. Okay. All right, two different exercises. You'll notice that the movement for the, for the band alone, I go towards the center. It's almost, uh, you know the pec deck? You guys know what a pec deck is where you kind of do this or extreme dumbbell flies. That's what that reminds me of, going towards the center, towards the center, and I'm creating that crease in my pecs. With this, it's, it's almost similar to a traditional bench press. So it's this. So is one going to replace the other? No, I think one is going to complement the other. That's what I think. Now, can you do bodybuilding with this, with this gorilla bow? I think you can. I think if you, if you do the time under tension, use the time under tension philosophy where you do things slow, let's say, let's just say a five count under one foot. So I'm gonna be doing this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's how I work out now, guy that classically grew up doing one. Two, three, and I don't do that as much anymore because I do think that there's a limited number of reps that your joints can handle. It's not infinite. I don't believe it's infinite. And I only say that now being in my later years and wait, like when you wake up and you feel your joints, like normally I don't feel my joints. When you're younger, you don't think about your elbows or knees. You, don't, you just don't think about it because you're not even aware that they are there. When you're a little bit older, you're aware that your knees are there. You're aware that your shoulders are there. You're aware that your elbows are there. And that's one of the reasons why I like resistance bands so much. So can the Gorilla Bow be part of your everyday fitness system? I do think it can be. Let's try, let's try these forearm curls where you go like this. Palms facing down. Or, what's the other one that I can do? You know like where you roll your wrists? Where you, like, you know how like when you sit down and you take a dumbbell and you just kind of, you roll? Let's see what that does. Yeah, you can do that. So, all right, so I tried individual body parts. As far as compound exercises, military press, yes. Pardon me, I'm in my living room, so. Military press, yes, you can do this. Chest press. Yes, you can do that. Squats, front loaded squats. Okay, how about deadlifts? Can you do deadlifts? Uh, let's, let's see. Yeah. So, all right. So I got the made the four major compound exercises. I can do individual body parts and what I would call individual 
individual body part conditioning, which I'm not so much as interested in anymore as I used to be. I don't think I'm in bad shape for a guy my age, 195 pounds. I want to get down to 175, 180. That's what I want to do. Get the waist much, much trimmer than it was. Still have fat here, but can the gorilla bow be part? You can see me doing some heavy breathing here. So yes, it's, it's working. Safety and risk concerns. I guess if a band snapped, it, it could be hard. It could be hard. Risk. If you don't step on them properly, they could snap up, but just make sure that when you're stepping on, when you're stepping on the bands, let me just take off my sneaker. So if this is the ground and I'm stepping on it, I'm gonna put the band here, here. I'm not gonna put it here because with our weight on our heel, we tend to lift up a little bit. And if that lifts up, psh, then you're, it's gonna snap. And maybe cause injury, I don't know. But when I put it like under, more underneath the arch of my shoe, it's gonna stay there. It's not gonna be tempted to fly out or anything. I think, I think the Gorilla Bow can be part of your fitness arsenal. I really do. With all the different bands that it comes with, if you can't get yourself in shape, burn some calories, tone up, create a good looking body with this, you can't do it with anything. I first, when I first did resistance bands, I showed you, I got the four or five band set. And that was, that was great. That was great. And that was just out of curiosity about resistance bands. And then you saw the exercises that I've done. And so here we are at the end of 2022. And I have pretty much, I'd say maintained and improved a little bit compared to a year ago. So I'm not, I'm not complaining. I think I've improved, but not, not as much as I want to. I think 2023 going towards 63 years old is going to be probably a better year for me fitness and health wise lab work wise and all that and i like the idea of if i don't want to go to the gym then using bands like this and not having to have a whole garage or a room dedicated to exercise equipment that's kind of cool i like that just putting on music or a podcast and doing my exercises with something like this and of course you can see up at the top of the stairs, there's my chin-up bar in the doorway that I use almost every day and that I also use with resistance bands as well to help offset the weight. I probably am not going to be able to do, uh, do the pull-ups without the resistance bands offsetting some of my weight because I didn't do, I didn't do uh, push-ups and pull-ups for 20 years. But I'm hoping by June 1st of 2023 to kind of get that back. And of course, I'll be down a lot more weight by then and maintain my muscle. If you are a former athletic person like myself and a former, you know, muscular guy who's put on weight, you kind of like have that barrel thing going on and you got that layer of fat and just feel a little bit out of shape. I think resistance bands are a great alternative. I think they're a great choice for you. I think you'd be impressed with the Gorilla Bow. No one's paying me to say this. They are giving you a 10% plus 15% discount on the price if you go to the website. 10% if you put in Listen My Son added to the 15, already 15% 15 off. I think you could, uh, I think you could create a nice workout system for yourself without investing in weights and like I said dedicating a portion of your house you can do this in front of a television while you're watching a show put on a podcast put on some music and I think I think you'll be okay will it help you reverse aging I think so I always I've always thought that 
progressive resistance helps a man to feel younger, look younger, fit into uh, more appropriate clothing, and for women as well. Resistance bands are a pretty good, pretty good uh, alternative. And then when you add to that the on-demand classes that they have and the live classes, let's say it's like every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, there's a class in bodybuilding or a class in some kind of cardio something or a legs class or a belly class, that, that kind of thing. And like I said, it's you're creating alternatives. Alternatives. You remember when I was doing um, squats with these, with just the band itself? And it was slightly, slightly uh, unstable in the sense that it, that you feel the bands digging into your, the back of your neck. And I'm not into, I don't want anything that's going to compress the crap out of my spine or hurt my neck. So, you know, remember, remember these right here? And I was like doing these. There's something about that weight being on a bar distributed and then you having a, a more solid grip rather than having the bands digging into your hands. And you just feel less stable in your wrist when you have, you know, like these hundred pound bands, you know, pulling on your wrist. I'm not going to get rid of these. I still love these. When I travel, you know, this goes into, this goes either into my backpack or briefcase or suitcase or whatever. And this is what I think. I think everybody should have a set or two of bands in their life. Everybody across the board. I don't care what age you are. I love that one where they say, check with your doctor before you start an exercise program. I'm not a doctor, but I would say start the, start the exercise program and then tell your doctor you're doing it. Because what's going to happen is everyone is like, be careful, be careful. Ever since you were like a little kid, everyone says, be careful. Mom, I'm going out to play. Okay, be careful. I'm going out tonight with the guys. All right, be careful. And you grow up being careful about everything. <sighs> Take some damn risks. Or I didn't say be stupid about it. Being informed consumer and an informed fitness person. But that whole be careful thing. Nah, nah, work out. Challenge the body. Trick the body. Make the body uncomfortable. Your, your comfort zones will kill you. Let me say it one more time. Your comfort zones will kill you. Or I should say your comfort zones will start the death spiral. So do something for yourself. Get back into the workout world of progressive resistance. And you got this. You got this. Thanks for watching.